buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Get I'm sure you've heard of this classic tune, perhaps while learning the recorder, but what goes into making the tasty treats behind this ditty? I put my apron on and headed to Coaldale Bakery to make hot cross buns and find out for myself. Is that good? That's okay? Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Right there. Okay. Make sure the thing is like then that. And then press the two buttons there. Okay. Now let go? Yeah. All right. I feel like a mad scientist. Yeah. <laughs> Voila! Ah, I did it! I'm a baker! <laughs> You're a baker now. The bakery sells hot cross buns every Easter season and says the decadent treat invokes a springtime feeling. What I enjoy is it is just the smell. I love, I love the taste because after they're done, you get that nice taste. Um, it's, it's that season. It's hot cross season. Yeah. I, that's why. And I think the old people like it. Tradition. Tradition. Because you know, I, I don't know. We we sell a lot yeah. every 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 year. The bakery says hot cross buns fly off their shelves during the holiday season. We go through roughly maybe five six bags. Every a week and for let's one say a week. bag. Let's, a ba you know, yeah. that's when we say a bag. That's you know, oh, your oh, when they package them and stuff like that. So it's we got to do at least a hundred dozen. Let's go a hundred or more. That's a lot of buns. That's yeah. a lot of buns. One clear explanation has yet to be determined as to why hot cross buns have become a symbol of Easter. One story tells the tale of an Anglican monk in the 12th century baking buns and marking them with a cross on Good Friday. The reasoning for making the buns this time of year varies from religious symbolism to superstitions or tradition. Regardless of the hot cross buns history, there's no denying they are a popular addition to the Easter meal. Gignard and Poole have the hot cross bun making process down pat, but I wanted to know if they thought the recipe would be as easy to follow in a kitchen at home. I don't think so. But that's because we've been doing it for so many years, yes, it's, yes. it's not complicated. Yeah. For a simple house person, yes it might be, because it's a big, you've got to add a lot of stuff to it. All your, it's expensive for one thing. Think of your spices, your, everything you have to add, your nutmeg, your ginger, your, 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 your fruit. Yeah. You better have to go buy it. <laughs> the traditional hot cross bun is a lightly spiced sweet bun filled with raisins, currants, or dried fruit, then marked on top with a cross that has been piped in an icing or etched into the dough. For Go, I'm Fallon Wagner. That's icing. Yep. Yep.